And joining me now is Sheriff Sean Golden, who was recently sworn into a third three-year term as the Monmouth County Sheriff. Sheriff, congratulations. Thank you, Cynthia. Thanks so much for joining us here on Monmouth Pleasure. In Focus. You are in charge of uh, 609 um, staff members of the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office, yeah. and you run quite a few divisions. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so it, it's an honor to be reelected and, and again, guide uh, the, our law enforcement in the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office into uh, the next term. Uh, we've done so much over the past two terms. Uh, I have to say that the 600 men and women of the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office are also dedicated uh, to protecting the public. And, and I get to see it every day. It's, uh, it's right. really uh, thrilling to go to work every day. I'm so excited and, and, and to see them bring so much enthusiasm. But um, all of them work, uh, shift work 24 seven, holidays, weekends. And, yeah. and so, uh, you know, it's a pretty large operation. It's uh, in four major divisions. Uh, mm -hmm. We have our communication division, we have our corrections division, our law enforcement and special operations. Sure. Within the law enforcement, you have a rather uh, large canine unit. It's there, very there, popular. There are a number <laughs> of units. The canine units are, are popular and they, and they work hard, I have to say. Yeah. It's a hard working unit. Uh, one of the things that we did was we uh, shifted the mission uh, for canine to a shared service model with the towns and we brought in a number of uh, narcotic dogs mm -hmm. and uh, patrol tracking dogs so we can assist local municipalities. Uh, in their efforts and so it's worked out really well and so we have eight canines uh, one or one's more popular than the other but we know sky is the bloodhound <laughs> and, and really takes the cake so they, they are out there working they had so many calls last year over over 250 calls for service last year in the local municipalities and it, that really with great results in terms of tracking in terms of narcotic seizures and our bomb dogs, which go out to uh, various threats to our critical infrastructure. Right, absolutely. 911 Communication Center, uh, processing. We, uh, we call it the hub, you've yeah. seen it. It's, uh, it's a busy center. Uh, listen, uh, it's a big county. We're the third largest county um, in, in the state of New Jersey. And so our 911 center, we just were looking at the call stats for 2016, over 758,000 calls sure. wow. rolling mm -hmm. through the center. Mm -hmm. um, over 200,000 of those are 911 calls. And then we look at the amount of wireless. Uh, and, and new last year to Monmouth County was uh, text to 911. Mm -hmm. And so we processed over 240 text to 911 calls in that pilot program uh, over the summer and, and into the fall. And it's, it's been working out great. So they're, they're a busy uh, operation. They're there. We dispatch for, again, it's a shared service. It's a tremendous operation in terms of uh, technology and voice over IP phones in the various uh, and serving. Uh, various number of departments, not only county agencies, but uh, you know we service over 48 um, towns yeah, in one way or another, uh, either police dispatch, fire dispatch, EMS, uh, emergency management. You know. Sure, public safety obviously is your uh, n number one t priority yeah. if you're going to if you're going to talk about that. What are some of the initiatives that you've worked on and that you will continue to work on for 2017? Well, listen, one of the things that we we started, uh, you know, when I became sheriff was our. Um, really our program for autism and special needs. And so we were determined to bring autism special needs training into the Monmouth County Police Academy where I graduated from. It's, it's a great academy. It's the best in the state of New Jersey. And we're always on the forefront there. And so one of the things we did was employ Fran Hines who came in as our autism and special needs coordinator and put together a program, scenario based, lecture based, right and able to teach all of our recruits. And then we took that uh, a couple of years ago, as you know, and, and we migrated that into all the local law enforcement. He went out to all the local agencies and was teaching about autism awareness, special needs, and all the scenarios and challenges that um, first responders face sure. when dealing with special needs. And that led into um, more project lifesaver bracelets, tracking bracelets, and it led into the special needs registry, which we have with the Monmouth County Prosecutor, Chris Cremiccioni and the Chiefs of Police Association. It's so important and there's always so much work to be done there, You're doing a great job at that. How about Homeland Security efforts, uh, bolstering those Yeah, efforts always there? on the forefront. We see what happens yeah. ar around the world and, and certainly, uh, you know, locally uh, in Ocean County and, and, and New Jersey uh, over the summer with the uh, 5K race uh, that happened. And so, you know, you don't know uh, when a bombing will strike or, you know, some type of active shooter. I, I will say we've invested a lot of money and time, uh, not only in the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office and the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office, but all the public safety, uh, tabletop drills, preparing equipment. Uh, I, I will uh, attest that we are much better prepared uh, than we were a decade ago. And uh, I'm confident that with all the training our first responders have been receiving over the, even the last short five years, 
um, that you know we are on the forefront again we have um, equipment that we didn't have in terms of medical ambulance buses that respond to mass casualty incidents uh, we have a rapid deployment force for uh, perimeter and crowd mm -hmm. control mm -hmm. all of these things that we didn't have uh, when I started as sheriff sure, and, and absolutely. we're bringing it to pu public safety and to, time to, to, to uh, secure our critical infrastructure we have a lot in Monmouth County absolutely and, and real quick sheriff also when it comes to um, sharing services with other towns like fire departments and being on the same operation there you, yeah. you've certainly well that. yeah we we were and, and let me tell you the the, the, the board of chosen freeholders uh, you know Tom Arnone and Serena Damaso Lillian Burry our liaison John Curley Gary Rich they, they've done a tremendous job in supporting public safety uh, the prosecutor's office the sheriff's office and all public safety and that led to uh, our purchase of advanced software uh, so now our firefighters have software and reporting systems uh, to make their job uh, easier in the field, mapping with hydrants and locations and all the information and maps of different buildings and entries. Um, same thing with law enforcement, uh, common data sharing platform over 30 towns. And so we really stepped up our game in terms of yeah. being, a, again, a leader in the state when it comes to technology and public safety. Absolutely. Sheriff, thanks so much for joining us today. You it bet. was a pleasure to Thank talk you. to you here on Monmouth in Focus. More information, of course, you can go to www visit mama.com. I'm Cynthia Scott.